would you use a smartphone or electric vehicle powered by nuclear batteries? Or maybe a nuclear-powered pacemaker that never needs changing? Russian researchers developed a nuclear battery design based on a radioactive element that has a half-life of over 100 years. This means that any device having this nuclear battery won't need recharging for over a century. And that's not all. This battery produces 10 times the power of a traditional chemical cell. For people who use smartphones and other smart devices 24-7 and are tired of constant recharging, this might be good news. And let's be honest, that's most of us. What's better news is that there is no need to panic, because this nuclear battery does not contain any mini nuclear reactor inside it. So how does it work? Nuclear batteries work through a process known as beta voltaics to produce electricity. As the name implies, it generates power from the decay of beta particles. A radioactive source inside the device decays and emits beta particles, and when these interact with a semiconductor layer, they can create an electric current. The prototype design is based on a radioactive isotope nickel-63 and a semiconductor made out of diamond. The nickel-63 isotope fires high-speed electrons into nickel foil, generating electricity. This nuclear battery boasts about 3300 milliwatt hours of power per gram and continues producing power for a hundred years, because this is the length of nickel 63's half-life. Batteries powered by radioactive materials have been around for more than a century before more advanced methods such as lithium ion arrived. Previously, researchers developed a nuclear battery that used a radioactive isotope strontium-90 that splits water molecules to produce electricity and the nanotritium battery with a 20-year lifetime. This sort of technology would be ideal for powering things you can't, or would rather not, access often, such as pacemakers. Now, you might be thinking that carrying a mobile device 24-7 packed full of radioactive materials is a bad idea, especially because beta radiation can cause cancer and death. But, beta radiation can be easily stopped with a thin piece of aluminum and this makes beta radiation much easier to control. Just make sure that the beta voltaic nuclear battery casing is more than a couple of millimeters thick and try not to drop it. Like, ever. Even though we can control beta radiations, it will be some time before we can see commercial nuclear batteries in the market. Marketing a nuclear powered pacemaker in today's world would demand more than just a catchy news ad. A lot of public education needs to be done before potential customers will feel comfortable using this technology. For now, nuclear batteries will probably only be used in military and space applications. Space agencies planning long trips will need to develop small power sources that don't need replacing in order to save on cargo space. Still, it would be nice to have a smartphone that never once needs recharging. <laughs>